Hello guys, it's me again, Mike Padua, as promised. We are back to give you the very latest on the La Nina, upcoming La Nina situation here in the Western Pacific, including the Philippine, Philippine Islands and Southeast Asia. This is for uh, issued today, August 14, 2024, based on the uh, August 8 update, and we are going to show it to you in a while. So this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation, one of the uh, best edu educational institutions in Naga City and here in the Bicol region. So let's uh, proceed now. Here's the uh, latest one from the Columbia Climate School International Research Institute for Climate and Society in partnership with the Climate Prediction Center. So it's the August 8th update. And as of now, we are still under La Nina watch, as you can see here. But as of the moment, we are still under Enso neutral or normal climate. And it is expected to persist for the next several months with La Nina favored to emerge during September, November with a increasing chance at 66%. And it will persist through the northern hemisphere winter so that will be between uh, december to march of 2025 with a 74% chance during november to january so that's the situation and uh, right now we are showing you the uh, sea surface uh, temperature anomalies across the pacific ocean as of july 31st you can already see here some tang of uh, uh, cold uh, sea surface temperatures anomalies okay when we have some upwelling here or cooler temperature the western pacific is increasingly becoming uh, warmer so we expect that the la nina is on the way but uh, just like uh, previous uh, months ago we are uh, telling you that the effects of El Nino will persist until August, but uh, as we move into September to October, slowly the effects of uh, La Nina will creep in. So here's the uh, uh, equatorial upper ocean heat anomalies. So uh, as of now, the uh, uh, sea surface temperature over the Central Pacific has dramatically shifted to below uh, 1 degree centigrade so it's a sign that La Nina is uh, approaching and uh, you can clearly see here the uh, latest from the model predictions of the La Nina from July 2024 we are here right now under normal uh, climate or neutral or what we call in Spanish as La Nada and as we move into August to October, it will start to switch into a uh, weaker La Nina. So based on what we are seeing on the graph, it's likely to be a slight or weak La Nina. Not a strong one or medium one, but we are still observing this in the next couple of months. And the latest from the NOAA CPC and so probabilities issued this August 8th. Right now, the July, August, uh, September, so we are going to get the middle of this three month uh, value. So the August is uh, at 83% neutral, and come uh, uh, September, it will start to shift to La Nina. The neutral and uh, La Nina conditions will be uh, around 49 to uh, uh, 50%. And then by October, La Nina will increase by 66% and uh, so on. Okay, you can see here the trend up to uh, the possible peak month of uh, December. By December, it's likely to be around uh, uh, more than 70%. Okay, so that will be 74%. La Nina levels so that will be uh, a slight la, la Nina so what will be the uh, effects of the rainfall across the Philippine Islands 
So by September, so we're going to focus on the middle of this uh, three-month uh, value. As of September, or beginning next month, the rainfall will be uh, uh, increasing to 50% uh, above normal. Okay, you can uh, see it here. Let me uh, uh, move this. Okay. So 50% above normal over Mindanao, while the rest of the archipelago, including uh, Palawan, okay, while the rest of the archipelago is still at normal condition. And uh, that will be on September. And if we move uh, on uh, October, the October uh, precipitation forecast, it will now be more than uh, 50 or 60 percent over Luzon well the rest and uh, also Palawan the rest of uh, the country will be uh, 50 percent above normal so watch out for more rainfall when the when October November and December arrive so this is for November it's steadily increasing to around 70 percent in Luzon Palawan Western Mindanao, while the rest of the archipelago is up by 60% above normal. And by December, uh, the uh, forecast will be uh, pegged at 70% across uh, Luzon, 60-70% to 70 across Luzon, Mimaropa, Western Mindanao, Southern Mindanao, while uh, the rest is 50-60% um, to 60%. The rest of the archipelago so we must be prepared with the arrival of this uh, week la nina so we expect uh, above average rainfall to persist beginning uh, october november december and it may push through until january or february okay so uh, again here's the uh, la nina and rainfall effects all over the globe and for the philippine islands we expect the uh, above average rainfall or the wet conditions to persist beginning November until April and while others like here over Japan November to January it will be dry also here over the Caribbean and also here over the uh, over the Middle East it will be uh, dry between January to May uh, northern uh, India beginning June to October will be above average rainfall and also here across uh, Central Africa South Africa and uh, uh, over the uh, uh, Mexico area and also northern part of uh, South America or Central America will also experience above average rainfall while over the uh, southern portions of the United States, from California, Texas, up to Florida Peninsula, it will be a dry uh, scenario. Okay, droughts will be expected, a possible drought, due to the La Nina. So it's a reverse compared to the Philippines that the effects of La Nina will have more rainfall in our country. But it's only slight a week, so it means that the rainfall is slightly above average. So we must be prepared when the bear months arrives. Okay. So that's the latest for today uh, or for this month, August 14, and we will return again uh, next month, uh, September, to give you the very latest on the upcoming La Nina. Again, this is Mike Padua saying uh, good night. Have a great week and thank you so much for watching our channel.